I'm Madison Smith with Campus Reform. Brand new Pew Research polls show Biden's approval rating among Democrats has plummeted 19% since April, down to 76% among his own party. Another poll shows his overall approval has fallen to just 39%. I'm here at the liberal-dominated George Washington University to get students' reactions to this. Has Biden fallen short of their expectations too? Let's see what they have to say. President Biden just passed his first year in office. Mm -hmm. How do you think he's doing so far? I think uh, in modern American history, he's one of the most deplorable presidents we've had. The withdrawal from Afghanistan was a complete and utter disaster. We abandoned hundreds of Americans behind despite the commander in chief promising otherwise. And that's just in the realm of international affairs. Since the 1980s, we've never seen this much of inflation. I do know there's a supply chain shortage. I don't know, on issues such as immigration particularly, he hasn't lived up to his promises fully. He's doing all right. <laughs> Glad it's not Trump. He hasn't really made a lot of the promises that he made during his campaign. So you, you like him mainly because he's not Trump? Yeah, yeah. As a progressive college student, I would have expected to see more. I think that like, if he were to run for a second term, I would definitely put into question whether or not I would vote for him again. A Harvard-Harris poll that came out showed his approval rating has fallen to 39%. Mm, 53% of Americans strongly disapprove of the job he's doing. Did these numbers surprise you? Not particularly, because I think a big thing was with Afghanistan, really damaged his, his image, especially amongst veterans. No, okay. not at all. We have rampant inflation. It's pushing 7%. Retrospectively, the American Rescue Plan, Rescue Plan, uh, was in a sense a waste of tons of money uh, that we didn't have, that we didn't need to spend. And I think we are seeing elevated inflation as a result of that, in addition to the Federal Reserve's easy money policies, in addition to supply chain woes. He's doing more oil and gas leases than Trump did. I don't think he's made a lot of his promises like at the border with immigration. Student loans or like debt is another thing that comes to mind. So there's a lot of reasons to be like unhappy. He's not shown strong leadership. His speeches have been very surface level. They've been very trying to bridge the gap between the two um, parties. 39 person, I mean, that's you know, quite a lot. Most left Democrats will never approve of him. Biden has hinted at wanting to run again for, for office. Do you think that he should run again? No, he's too old. No, I would not recommend that he runs again in 2024. Okay. I don't think he will run. Um, I, I, I think he lacks the mental competence to be commander in chief presently. How old is he, 79? Yeah, he shouldn't run, uh, and nor should Kamala. Is age something that you would be concerned about or no? Yeah, it's a major concern. It does. You never know what's going to happen. If you were going to have another four years in office, like knock on wood, obviously, but I don't know if he'd live that long. I think the Democrats should really look to other candidates who are younger and can maybe appeal to the American public. I do I'm um, concerned with about if he has like the mental ability to like run in um to run for office. You think he has the mental ability right now? He does, but sometimes he can go off tangents. I think probably someone else could take his place. We need more uh woman power okay. at the White House. If he runs again, would you vote for him? Well, no. If he was the Democratic nominee, would you vote for him? No. I would vote for him because he would be the Democratic Party like party candidate, but I would just wish that the um, primaries come up with something else. Yeah. Okay. And why is that? I'm assuming the Republican nominee would be worse. I'd have to see who the Republican candidate was, but I mean, if it's Donald Trump or Ron DeSantis, I'd still prefer Joe Biden. I would vote for him. I think the country has been doing a little bit better when it comes to international politics. I feel like things have been uh, more diplomatic, I would say. A lot of students I've talked to today said that Biden is too down the middle. That. <laughs> yeah, um, that's hysterical. He's not. Elizabeth Warren has quite literally handpicked dozens of his nominees. Um, he nominated a, 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 a socialist to be comptroller of the currency. Actual moderate Democrats in the Senate tanked that nomination, thankfully. But no, this is not a man um, governing from the middle. He's not a nice old man. He, that was kind of the, the image, that, that Biden's this nice old jolly fella. Well, just a couple days ago, he called Peter Ducey, a, a, you know, a SOB. You can say it if you want. Son of a bitch. Despite the fact that the question was totally appropriate for a reporter to ask. And let's talk about that Georgia speech. He called half the country akin to Jefferson Davis. Why did he think that likening half the country to a literal traitor would help his agenda be enacted through Congress? It, it really, it boggles the mind.